entertainment complex where a man opened fire at a video gaming competition reopened today. The landing in Jacksonville, it had been closed the last two days since that deadly shooting. Now, it's not clear when the specific place inside of it where the shooting happened is going to open, but today there are calls for more security at these type of gaming rooms. The company in charge of the tournament has canceled its remaining events while it reviews safety protocols. And the Niles Kamasi Aaron is in Jacksonville with a new look into the gaming community, a place many say they come to connect. Dude. <laughs> That was just rude. <laughs> it may seem like this is a competition. Is nobody landing at the back house with me? Oh my gosh. But for Derek Weaver and his friends. Oh my gosh, I hate this game. <laughs> it's more like community. It's a lot more fun to actually go out and be with other people that play the game instead of just like sitting at your house by yourself. That's why the shooting just miles away at the Jacksonville landing was hard for him to understand. I thought it was kind of stupid that somebody would do that over a video game. At the end of the day, the most common denominator is escape. It is connecting. It is um, enjoying yourself outside of the mundane. Nate Halsell is general manager of this Play Live Nation Gaming Center and says that sense of community It's pretty much hashtag gamers give back GLHF inspired the community to create this GoFundMe. Today I've been sitting here just going through social media and kind of sharing the links for that. And he's not surprised. In the last 24 hours you just see seen the explosion of love from the community and there's not a lot of negativity be behind it. It's everybody reaching out to each other. But is he worried about continuing to play in places like these? I wouldn't say worried, um, disheartened, um, but not necessarily worried because I do believe in the community. He believes the community can and will grow from this. The Jacksonville Landing is a gun-free zone, and according to reports, there was no security at the event. These are evildoers. They have no fear. They're not going to unfair law enforcement with a weapon. Um, but it probably could have helped. Security expert Michael Yorio says as EA Sports reviews its safety protocols, it's critical to be ready for the worst. Making sure you have the proper stop the bleed equipment in place, making sure that you have a team there uh, ready to respond in a rapid manner should something happen. Continuing to create community for all. Where's that? Where is it? Ah, uh, yes. Despite the actions of one. I get it. I get it. It's cool. In Jacksonville, Florida. <laughs> I'm Kumasi Aaron. Oh, <laughs>